Oh, what up, world? We are back here with The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Chapter 5, Always Hold to Your Deepest Realization. For anybody just tuning in, this is a book about a spiritual guide to mastering the challenges of women, work, and sexual desire. This book is really for men who want to understand their masculine energy, step into their masculine power, be more confident, live on their edge, be stronger, and live out in the world and give all of their gifts to the world while also understanding women and the feminine. So chapter five, always hold to your deepest realization. Eternity... Eternity must be a man's home, moment by moment, without it he is lost, always striving, grasping at puffs of smoke. A man must do anything necessary to glimpse and then stabilize this ever-fresh realization and organize his life around it. Make your life an ongoing process of being who you are at your deepest, most easeful easeful levels of being. Everything other than this process is secondary. Your job, your children, your wife, your money, your artistic creations, your pleasures, they are all superficial and empty. If they are not floating in the deep sea of your conscious loving, how many hours today was your attention focused in the realm of changes or on events, people, thoughts, experiences, and how often was your attention relaxed into its source? Where is your attention right now? Can you feel its source? Even for a moment, can you feel that which makes attention conscious and aware? Can you feel the deepest nature of attention? What happens when you simply effortlessly allow attention to subside into its source? This source is never changing and always present. It is in the constant silent tone and pervading the music of life. Feel into the source as deeply as possible and then reapproach your work, intimacy, family, and creative efforts. When you make money, make money from this source. Find out what happens to the details of life when you live more consistently from this source. Use aids to support your relaxation into and creation from this source. Read books that remind you of who you are in truth. Spend time with people who inspire and reflect the source to you. Meditate, contemplate, or pray daily so that you steep yourself in the source. If you are like most men, you have strong habits that rivet your attention to the events and tasks of the day. Days and nights fly by for years and life slips through your fingers. Your attention absorbed in the seeming world of unnecessary responsibilities. But all of it is empty if we do not live our responsibilities as expressions of our depth of being and heart truth. No eternity. Do whatever it takes. And from this depth of being, live the details of your life. But if you postpone the process of submerging yourself in the source for the sake of taking care of business first, your life will be spent in hours and days of business and then it will be gone. Only if you are well grounded in that which is larger than life will you be able to play life with humor knowing that each task is a marriage of necessity. Even if you find yourself in some trivial moment watching TV or cleaning up a mess in the kitchen, feel the truth of who you are. Feel the boundless cognizance in which each instant seems to vanish. All moments are the same intensity of clarity, completeness, and humor when you meet each moment with your deepest realization. Nothing that has ever happened has made any difference to the one who you are. All right, so I do have to admit I struggle a little bit with this chapter in terms of in terms of really grasping really grasping what he's talking about. Like he's talking about operating from your from your source, from your core. He talked about, you know, meditating. Um uh what did he say? He said, uh, yeah, meditate, contemplate or pray daily to keep yourself in the source, right? So he's talking about being, you know, being being true to yourself, right? And deep deep in who you are. And I think what he's trying to talk about too is like don't get don't get lost in the the tasks and the details of daily living, right? Because there's so many things that come up. Got to buy groceries. Got to go do the laundry. Got to go meet up with a friend. Got to go apply for a job, right? There's so many things in our daily life that we can get caught up in those in those tasks. And what he's saying is focusing on the core of who you are, right? The core of who you are, your gifts that you have to share with the world, your passion, your mission, your purpose, who you really are tune into that tap into that stay in that and keep giving as much of your gifts as you can to the world as you share and you open up living with an open heart as you express yourself connect and share with other human beings and really living at the highest potential that you can all right fam i'm going to be signing up for now we're going to be back soon with more of the way of the superior man arthur signing out we'll see you soon love you world